which are going to be focused on uh, educating you about art business and basically providing you with all the knowledge uh, you would be interested and you would need in order to build a successful career within art industry. I am very glad that we're able to organize these seminars as well uh, because of the Norway Fund. And we're organizing the seminars with our partners, NOPA organization from Norway, which is helping upcoming musicians, mainly from Norway. Uh, if you're interested uh, more in the seminars, uh, you can always check it out on our website, victoryart.eu, where you can see uh, basically every week's schedule and what we plan to do uh, in the upcoming, um, upcoming months and what seminar we will host each week. Uh, these seminars will be focused mainly on art business, uh, they will be focused towards artists to help them uh, better create their portfolio, to create their brand, strong brand, which is going to help them uh, to showcase how talented they are to the world. Uh, it will be about uh, helping artists to build their presence, their online presence, social media, helping them to build uh, partnerships with, uh, with uh, companies, with uh, museums and as well with clients and we'll, we will be finishing uh, this whole very exciting series of seminars with guest lecture which is going to be focused on saying or actually sharing the experiences within different industries and what's the best way to put up with that. Uh, I don't want to uh, take more time from our seminar at this point uh, and I would love to jump more into this. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce you a little bit more uh, to Victory Art and what we are doing and what's our whole vision. And so Victory Art is a company which is focused on breaking stereotypes and building new perspectives in the art world. First of all, before we start the seminars, I would love to uh, actually ask you all to mute yourself. Uh, to be mindful about maybe other people who will be talking during the seminar. If you have some questions, uh, please feel free to put them either in the chat uh, in the meantime, uh, so you don't forget the question or write it out somewhere and ask at the end. And first of all, uh, I would love for you to have a great time. I would love you to uh, learn something new, exciting about the art market. And if you have uh, any questions, even after the seminar, you can always uh, reach out to us at victory at victoryart.eu. So, first of all, uh, this is the seminar schedule. I was already mentioning briefly uh, what we will be focusing on, but mainly it's going to be introduction of the art industry. Where do we stand right now? Then we will be focusing on how to build your brand and social media presence, how to create pro portfolio, how to build partnerships. And as well, we will be having two guest lectures, which will be focused on career advice and uh, experiences from real people, real professional, successful artists who are able to share their personal experiences with you. If you have any questions about our seminars, always reach out to us at victory at victoryart.eu. And if you will want to see the seminars even after the end uh, of, of this session today, you will be able to see it. Uh, we're recording this session, so just you know. And these sessions will be published online, and our team will very gladly share with you all the notes, uh, all the materials, and as well video uh, you will need. First of all, uh, before we will go further, I would love to as well say that this is first part of the seminar schedule, which will last until uh, the half, the middle of the December. And for all artists who are interested in consultancies, we will be providing as well consultancies for free. So if you're interested in free consultancy with expert within the industry, uh, it doesn't matter what it uh, will be focused on. It can be focused on building your portfolio, building your social media, it can be focused on helping you to build strategy, how to approach your desired clients. You can apply 
for consulting. These applications will be open from November onwards. So uh, you can already write it down to your calendar. And if you're interested, uh, do not hesitate to apply. Uh, it will work the way that first comes, first serves. So if you're interested, I would definitely suggest you strongly to apply uh, as soon as possible in November. Uh, my name is Victoria Pikowska, and I'm the founder of Victory Art. And you probably were in touch with someone from my team. If you still don't know who we are or what we are doing, we're a team of passionate artists who are focused uh, on helping other artists, other art lovers to orient themselves within the art market. Uh, Victory Art is strictly focused on helping Central and Eastern European artists. So if, if here is some Eastern European artist who is not part uh, of Victory Art, you can as well apply uh, at curator at victoryart.eu and you can share your portfolio, uh, your uh, description, your uh, CV with our team and we will evaluate it and provide you with feedback. However, I know that we all want to go further with our session, with our seminars, but before uh, we will do that, I would love to as well mention uh, why we made decision to actually do these seminars and why we made decision to invite you all and to, and to actually take time every Thursday at 6 p.m. until the middle of December to do these seminars. Uh, Victory Art team believes in talented artists from Central and Eastern Europe, and we believe that these artists should have more voice on the market. That's why we're right now cooperating with more than talented uh, individuals, talented artists who are creating stunning art pieces. And we really want to show to the world how talented artists Central and Eastern Europe has. And we want to show them that, hey, there are these cool artists. You don't only have to look at the Western Europe or Western part of the world, but go to this and you'll find stunning artists. In order to do that, we need your help. We need you to prepare amazing portfolio. We need you to prepare amazing description. And we need you to have a certain presence uh, on the market. This is a requirement for now these artists. Uh, before artists were able uh, or were supposed to only create, now the market changed. And there is like an amazing term which uh, describes how the art industry works or where the industry stands at this point. And the new term for artists is actually artpreneur. So not entrepreneur, but artpreneur. What that means is that uh, requirements for artists are much higher. At this point, artists are supposed to entertain clients, uh, is supposed to bring much more value than only art piece, is supposed to perfectly know uh, the industry, is supposed to uh, have a specific style, uh, strong technique, very well, uh, be capable to do the technique very well. And so the requirements are much, uh, much uh, bigger and the expectations are much higher. However, not many artists actually know that. So that's why we want to help you guys, uh, all you talented guys who actually applied to be part of these seminars, to really uh, help you to grow your career and to be the best artist possible. Um, Victory Art is very much advocating for artists for over five years and we're building as well uh, the perception about Eastern Europe. And this is what we strongly believe in. Uh, as well, very briefly about us, uh, our artists are coming from all over Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, we're strictly focusing on these countries. At this point, we're in more than 12 countries. And um, our values are very strong in the sense that we really believe in a strong community in constant innovation. That's why we implemented augmented reality to our website. We believe in integrity and transparency of the art market. Uh, we're, not, uh, we're not applying this only towards our artists, but as well towards our clients. And we try to provide you all with as many information as possible. 
At the same time, we believe in inclusion, and that's why we're supporting minorities and as well disabled artists on their journey. Uh, at the same time, on our website, uh, you can find amazing variety of art pieces. Uh, at this point, we have, I believe, more than 1,400 art pieces. Uh, they're within different uh, price range as well. So even if you're an artist who is like big, uh, beginner and you're not, you kind of might think like, oh, maybe my art pieces are too cheap. Uh, you can always apply and we can help you out as well to price it properly. And mainly, we're socially responsible. That's uh, because, uh, that's uh, why we're supporting uh, minorities, we're educating artists, and we're as well supporting sustainable artworks. If you're a sustainable artist as well, do not hesitate to apply to us. A uh, very brief model about Victory Art and the way we're working, we're offering uh, to our clients uh, consultancies. This is towards artists and as well towards uh, uh, towards B2B clients, so businesses and consumers. We're working with our artists and we're clients on a creative projects when we're creating uh, one of a kind uh, um, artworks, let's say, or, um, or some kind of, um, uh, of projects where we're incorporating art, uh, let's say can be even uh, using art uh, for furniture covers in interiors and of course while helping our artists to sell rent or commission artworks uh, the top artistic movements uh, that's something what my what you might be interested as well in uh, at this point are abstract art pieces are modern artworks and as well expressionist artists uh, if you think that you do not fall into one of these categories you don't have to be afraid at this point our artists work within more than nine different categories and movements so definitely you can still apply even um, when you do not fit within one of these in general we're mainly focusing on paintings drawings photographs mixed media and recently we started as well with digital art um, if you're doing something else let's say sculpture uh, you can always apply. Maybe we will have some exciting project for you to work on together. Uh, as I mentioned, we're as well supporting minorities. That's why we're working as well with disabled artists who are very, very talented. However, they're deaf and blind. And art market kind of feels that they do not belong there. That's why this special kind of artworks is called outsider art. But we really believe that they should be showcased and that uh, they should have the same opportunities as uh, as all other artists, and that's why we're helping them. For our exclusive clients, we're as well offering 24 karat gold art pieces. For some of you artists, it can be as well inspiration if you want to include maybe golden powder or golden leaves. Uh, that's becoming very popular lately. Uh, we're supporting sustainable art and at the same time we're creating art merchandise uh, which is targeted more towards younger audience I would say more generation Z who is not at this point able to purchase art or rent art but they still want to have piece of art with them we call it wearable art uh, in general uh, I mentioned as well innovations Victory Art is very strong to focus on innovations and we're always trying to be on the top with uh, the latest trends in the art world. And that's why we implemented augmented reality for Android and iOS at this point on our website. So uh, even though you're an artist or you're not, you can always go to our website, take your phone, go to specific artwork, click on view in AR and you can see each piece on your empty wall in your house. And definitely, I would suggest you to have a look at it. It's amazing feature for all artists and for all clients. As well, Victory Art went already through some exciting journey. Uh, we managed to organize amazing exhibitions with big partners like World Trade Center, ABN AMRO and Circle. We had even our own a gallery for a short while before uh, Corona actually spread around the whole world. Uh, we opened our own office in the city center of Rotterdam and uh, we launched our website 
merchandise and as well um, the augmented reality feature. Today, we will be talking about art industry and market. Uh, the first seminar will be more like introduction to the art market. And we will talk about the current state of the art industry and what you as an artist should know about the art industry. And uh, the first topic is focused on how the industry is set up currently, how it was affected because of the pandemic, what shifted with the digitalization, let's say in the upcoming year and a half, uh, and how you can have easy access to different platforms, to different medias, uh, how, uh, what change uh, actually happened in the art industry in the, let's say, past um, maybe two years, uh, how uh, art buyers were impacted by these changes, and as well, what are the future possibilities for you as an artist? So, first of all, I would love to start with something what definitely impacted all of us and uh, something what made such massive uh, change, not only in the art market, but in general uh, in our society. So ever since the pandemic started, there were no exceptions in the industries which uh, got affected. For the art industry, the way the art market has changed uh, was massive. Under many restrictions and COVID measures, many galleries and as well auction houses and museums had been, uh, have been closed for a few months. Uh, in some countries, the situations are becoming better. Uh, in some countries, the situations are still very bad. Uh, however, we can definitely say that every country, every gallery, every museum was infected by this. Uh, it actually pushed it to digitalize within a few months, literally a few months. Uh, you could see that um, basically when Corona started, uh, let's say it was uh, last February, but you could see the galleries really adjusted very, very quickly to this. And already in May 2020, they were capable to organize virtual exhibitions, online exhibitions, and many other online cool events in order to entertain their clients um, or educate their future clients even, uh, even online. Uh, viewing artworks online has uh, became much easier for buyers uh, and buyers could as well access different platforms than before. On top of that, over the years, people's taste in art has also changed and the openness and acceptance of different styles uh, was constantly changing. And this is really amazing to see. Uh, well, Personally, if I may uh, as well say from our own experience, uh, we actually saw that people became suddenly much more interested in uh, browsing through different artworks, uh, viewing online exhibitions, and that's what eventually led as well in the fact that we created like the AR feature on our website. Uh, the fact that galleries and museums were closed was extremely positive thing in sense of uh, development of the art industry. Uh, before when art lovers saw uh, online platforms or saw um, maybe artworks online on social media or different websites, they always felt kind of like hesitant to purchase it. Now this purchase became standard. This is standard nowadays. Before art lovers had to go to galleries or museums, art fairs or shows to actually physically see the artwork with their own eyes. Uh, now it's not, uh, it's not needed anymore. Um, the art buyers are much more open and that actually help, is helping you artists and helped you artists a lot in order to make people more confident to trust your art, to trust you as an artist, to trust your technique. Uh, just a few numbers. According to the Art Report 2021, 
one of the key findings is that the total sales in, of 2020 within our in industry was around 50 billion, uh, which is 22% less than 2019. We can still say that these are pretty good number. However, if we take a look at online sales itself, the total amount in 2020 is double of the sale of what it was in 2019, and that was around 12 billion. So we can see that in 2020, there was a massive shift towards online art industry. And in spite of the fact that, let's say in countries like USA or Netherlands or Switzerland or UK, that the situation is much better, we still see this trend that, let's say art fairs or smaller art exhibitions even are still organized online and it just started working for art buyers. At the same time, I would love to say that this is becoming as well the golden age for online galleries. Shift in digitalization helped everybody to be more open to more bros online ecosystem, online art ecosystem. And for artists, it helped as well to uh, show them that they really need to be out there in order to succeed. Since it was not possible to welcome audiences in galleries or on exhibitions, making online events became a standard. Viewing art and buying art became standard. Uh, even such a massive institutions, let's say like Rijksmuseum Museum in Amsterdam, they invited people to visit their collection online during the lockdown. They prepared virtual tour. Uh, many zoos around the world started streaming cages with uh, animals, and this is how they were supporting themselves during these times. So this is very exciting to see that people are more and more open. Uh, nowadays, we, we can see that uh, it's, uh, that for example, in those countries which are open again, that the market is slowly, but very, very slowly going back uh, where it was. But when we're comparing the amount of art fairs, which was organized per year nowadays, it's maybe like 80% less. It's a minimum number of what was happening on the art market before. Uh, the education aspect of the art market became much more important. Uh, with the increasing demand about the transparency of the art market, both from art collectors, general public, and as well artists in it, uh, themselves, this became a very, very important topic galleries and auction houses are standing more for like commercial side of the industry and museums smaller art events and as well workshops are more for institutional side and um, the demand are out there for both of these parts so even for the commercial side and as well the institutional side and the way how our market uh, works right now is very much increasing. Um, I would love to really pinpoint here that uh, making art became more accessible for everyone due to the fact that you can find a lot of different uh, tutorials online and uh, this is uh, helping people to enter market more easily. However, for artists who really want to build the career out of their works, it's important to uh, always bring like the additional extra value. And so the fact that social media are so open right now, uh, many people can post uh, their artworks out there and uh, pretend that they're artists or think that they're artists. However, being artist is much more. It's not only about creating, it's uh, about uh, continuously working on your legacy. It's about putting stories uh, into your artworks. It's about a proper presentation of yourself. It's about the additional 
communication with your clients they have to feel like uh, they understand you that they are connected to you and at the same time they have to see your progress and this is one of the things which i would definitely uh, suggest to every single person who wants to become full-time artist the education within this industry is very important there are trends which are changing pretty fast there are different tools which you can be using there there are different social media aspects which you should consider there are uh, new gatekeepers and new art market players which you have to consider and that's what makes a normal artist an extraordinary artist the understanding of the art market in general in terms of diversity nowadays it's possible to find art buyer for everything uh, let's say 200 years ago or 400 years ago or even 600 years ago there was always like a specific style which was popular in the century so let's say the medieval paintings were very much focused more on like capturing kind of realistically capturing the moment it was more like a storytelling than we had baroque then we had um, before that we had renaissance then we had uh, impressionist we had different styles nowadays it's really amazing that you are able to find art lover for each style so it doesn't matter whether you are and uh, like a very well-known artist or uh, you're just starting and you're starting within let's say impressionist there are people out there who really are interested in this and who really want it so in general i would suggest uh, you to really choose a specific style for yourself and work on it and keep it up i'm not saying that you cannot do other things but it's important for you to really uh, have certain styles so people can identify them. That's very important for all the art buyers. Uh, in the uh, um, past few years, we saw a massive increase in uh, graffiti popularity uh, as well, um, rise of pop art again. And definitely I would suggest you one more time, uh, choose style and keep it up and show your clients that they are uh, able to identify your work. One of the last topics which I would uh, love to actually mention is something that I'm personally very passionate about, and that's the future and upcoming trends of the art industry. With the rise of technology and digitalization, uh, it's so like the art industry shapes so much. For example, we at Victory Art, we're using virtual exhibitions, we're using augmented reality, we're using uh, artificial intelligence in order to as well predict where we, um, where our artists will be in a few years. Like you can do so many amazing things. Uh, there are few of technical developments which I would love to specifically pinpoint and that's augmented reality. Augmented reality is something what can bring you very, very close uh, to your potential buyer. You can help them to make decisions much easier. Uh, this is becoming slowly popular, but not many people know how to actually properly use AR. That's why it's not yet as popular as it is going to be in a few years. But if you are an artist who has some technical background, I would definitely suggest you to dive into that. Another thing, very simple thing, viewing room. Uh, any artist can create their online exhibition by themselves. You can go to Art Steps, let's say. Uh, it's a platform which is uh, providing this tool for free to each artist, and you can uh, come closer to your clients, let's say like this. Another thing, last thing, what I would love to mention is NFT and blockchain. NFT stands for non-fungible token, uh, which is very, very beneficial for art buyers and as well for artists. If you're an artist who is creating digital art and you have problem with the fact that someone is stealing your work or someone is not crediting you or 
you are not able to track how many times people, I don't know, print your work or something, this is perfect thing for you. Um, you have to actually use one of the platforms, put a special token and attach it to your art. And every single time someone will use it, someone will buy it, you will know it. Perfect thing is that even if it's going to be on the secondary market, let's say you will still get commission from sale and you will exactly know who is manipulating with your art. So one more time, if we have here artists who are focused on, on digital art, definitely uh, consider NFT and its implementation for you. Uh, this was introduction session today. Uh, we will be working or we will be doing the seminar every Thursday at 6 p.m. on this exact link. Every seminar will be uh, shared with you and later on it will be published as well online. For now, I would love to actually uh, invite you for the session next week, which is going to go a little bit deeper in terms of uh, what you should know about the art industry as an artist, uh, what you should be aware uh, in your career and uh, what tools you should be using. like. For example, let's say uh, in terms of marketing. Um, in the end, I would love to ask you, are there any questions which I can help you with or I can answer to you at this point? Uh, if, you're, um, if you're maybe uh, shy and you don't want to talk or you don't want to turn on your camera or you don't want to uh, turn on your uh, microphone, you can as well message it in the chat. And in case you don't have any questions at this point, you can reach out to us at victory at victoryart.eu. And I would love to see you again next week. In case uh, you would want to know again what's going to happen next week, you can go to victoryart.eu where you can uh, find the art business seminars page. And um, I would love to as well say that these seminars are as well, um, we, we are able to make these seminars because of Norway Fund. So if uh, there's any artist who is as well interested in uh, different kinds of collaboration, do not hesitate to reach out to us. And I see that we do not have any other questions at this point. So thank you so much for being amazing audience. Thank you to all of you who joined us today. And I'm very excited to see you again next week. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.